What is up, my people? It's your boy. <laughs> um, bro squad here. Um, so, how is it going for you guys? It's good. I know it's been a while. I've been dealing with a lot personally. Um, a lot of relationship problems for sure. Uh, then I've just been enjoying summer really. Um, I'm okay. I'm back again. I know I said it wanted to be like football era, and then I kind of went dark. Uh, then I kind of stopped. I'm sorry. It was just a little break. I will try to post more. I got a lot going on, so going on um, social media. I just got recently, and it's been. It has its positives and it has its negatives. The negatives really weighed me down, and it's got me in a bad situation. I didn't say or do anything wrong, but. Things getting crazy. <laughs> but I'm back now, and hey, let's just talk about wrestling, you know? And that is what this is, after all. <laughs> let's talk about wrestling. I want to talk to you about Roman Reigns. Yeah, that's... When you talk about wrestling and talk about the greatest, you're probably going to mention his name. I'm not going to lie. He's probably one of the greatest, if not the greatest. I mean, I don't know. Uh, he defeated John Cena, and a lot of people John Cena. A lot of people say John Cena's the best. Roman Reigns defeated him, and he defeated the undefeated Finn Balor Demon. So I, I mean, as of right now, his reign's going pretty well. But I've heard rumors, rumors, saying that stuff might be happening. <laughs> I don't know, Roman. Reigns. What comes to your mind? Just go ahead and comment down below. What comes to your mind with the Roman Reigns? Let me tell you. Let me just break it down. Roman Reigns. Joe. That's his real name. I'm going to call him Roman Reigns to be more respectful. Um, he is a wrestler. And he has both titles. And if you don't know this, there's a division. There's Raw. There's SmackDown. Those are the big divisions. And then there's the NXT. But there's Raw, and then there's SmackDown. I'm sorry if you guys are NXT fans. It's just, it's not as big as Raw and SmackDown. Raw has a WWE Championship and the United States Championship, I think. I can't remember now. SmackDown has a WWE Universal Championship and the IC Championship. IC is Intercontinental Champion. Roman Reigns in SmackDown has the WWE Championship, so he's a two main belt holder. What does this mean? This means that Roman Reigns is going down in the history books. He's 100% going to be in the Hall of Fame. I don't think there's going to be any doubt about it. Um, not a lot of people hold two main titles. Uh, not a lot of people could get one. But he's holding two, and he held it for a long time. He's still holding it to this moment. Unless this is really outdated, and, I'm, and I just jinxed it. I'm sorry. But he is a two-belt holder. So he is pretty much unstoppable. And nobody so far has been able to stop him. So where does this lead? He said, and I quote, and I'm going to try to take this seriously. He said, we've done smash them all. That is what Roman Reigns said, quote for quote. So what comes next? No one really knows. Like, it's very hard to tell. Because once you make this great of a wrestler, it's hard to figure out who he should wrestle next. It, it really is. Like, he already defeated all the greats. He already defeated all the big names. Like, he recently just defeated Brock Lesnar, who is, like, really good and was the WWE Championship. He already beat him. So... What's next? I've heard rumors saying nothing. Nothing's next. I've heard rumors saying that he's going to quit. I've heard rumors say all kinds of stuff. Um, personally, my prediction is the bloodline is going to start to decrease now. I think they're at their peak. Personally, I think they're at their peak. And they're only going to get downhill. And I think it's going to start off with Roman Reigns losing the WWE Championship. The Usos lose their title, 
and Roman Reigns loses his. I feel like Roman Reigns will be the last guy standing, as the title wise. So where, so where are we now? We are at the peak. We are at the top of the thing. But when you already fought, and he's been doing this for two years now, ish. When you've already fought the best of the best, you're at your peak, and you're and you're like winning. And you keep on winning. So it's like it's like inflation. You keep on winning, eventually there's not gonna be a lot left. Especially if you've been doing it for two years. There's not gonna be a lot left. So it's gonna start to decline and kinda get more get more just kinda more boring really. I mean it's kinda the same thing and now it's gonna start to decline and de rise. And no one really knows what's going to happen. But my prediction is it's it's going to end off with them not doing too well. And potentially even losing their championships. Um, Roman Reigns, I've heard, was a really good, is a really cool person. Um, Roman Reigns himself is a heel. Uh, however, I've, I will say this. I've been watching wrestling for a long time. And I will say that um, I've never seen a crowd react so positively to a heel, ever. Like he does this gig when he points to a one, and then everyone's like, oh my gosh. And then everyone starts pointing ones in the sky. Right, that's, that's just what happens. Um, but usually they don't follow that when it's a heel. But I've never seen so many crowd members like react so positively to a heel before. I think it's really cool. Like personally, and I don't know if anyone else has noticed. Maybe they have. Maybe they haven't. But I feel like they've seen it. They've like no one else, or maybe not as many people see that the crowds reacting more positive than negative. I mean, they still do it and whatnot. But for a heel. And whenever it goes like this, they're all doing it too, instead of booing? He's not doing too bad. <laughs> like, I've never seen the crowd react so positive to to a, a heel. Like, I've, I've never seen it. So that's just what's uh, fascinating about it all. And Roman Reigns had a very long career. Um, but I will say this... Um, for Roman, for Roman Reigns' career, um, it's pretty pretty good. Definitely, at this point, it is the best that it has ever been. Definitely, he's like undefeated and whatnot. But that, but he's been good in WWE for a long time. Don't get me wrong; he's always been that kind of legend of a dude. But right now is when he's at his best, and that's just what's kind of worrying for me. Is because when you're at the best. What's next? You know, you just, like there's not a lot next, other than The Rock. <laughs> not kidding. But if they don't, they don't. I understand. But if they don't use The Rock, and that's just like for a month or two months of rivalry. So if they use The Rock, it's only gonna last a little longer. But who who are they gonna use? Like they they done use they done used them all. <laughs> they they really have. They they used. All the big names. It's and when you're already at the best of your career, like the top of the career, and you're see, top in charts, but like when you're at the best, you can't just sit there. That's not how WWE works. You don't just sit there. You constantly move, whether it's up or down. And Roman Reigns has been moving up and up and up and up, and that's constantly been getting better. What's the problem with that? Since you're constantly moving, he's gonna start going down. And maybe some up, and maybe some down. But in the end, I feel like it's not gonna end positively. I've heard that he's leaving, and if so, that is two titles that are vacant. Bateson? Vacant? I call him vacant. I don't know what you guys call it. So if he is, what does that leave with other people? Like, are they just gonna have a match in Raw, have a match on SmackDown, and then start 
So our, so our rivalry is there? Like, who's going to be the next? I don't know. I really don't know. Who's going to be the next? Okay. Roman Reigns. Really cool. Really dope. <laughs> um, now I want to talk about Brock Lesnar. We haven't seen Brock Lesnar in a while. He may be returning. He may not. I can I can see it both ways. Um, Brock Lesnar may or may not be returning. Uh, that being said, just just don't just don't be surprised if he doesn't return. Just just don't be surprised. Um, he did do a lot, and he does have my respect. But I wouldn't be surprised if he just didn't come back at all. Just like Triple H, you know. Just kind of floating away, and then come back for a special event, kind of out of it, and then come back, and whatnot. Um, Brock Lesnar was the former WWE Championship when he lost it to Roman Reigns, who I just talked about. And if you didn't catch that, literally just play the last 10 minutes of this video. Um, sorry, the first 10 minutes, I guess. Brock Lesnar is really good he's a legend and he he's re i'm kidding you not he's really really good like he knows what he's doing he knows how he's gonna do it he he sees it then he gets it because <laughs> he's just that dang good he's that good to where he can just see something and he's like i'm gonna take it it's mine now <laughs> uh, i feel i feel like i'm just like saying he's a bad person Mostly he's a heel, but he was a face. And it was kind of nice to see Brock Lesnar coming out with the beard, you know, the bun. And just seeing him smile. I mean, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen him smile before. I, I, other than evil. But that was like a genuine, like, hi. <laughs> that kind of smile. Um, Brock Lesnar, he's really cool. I really do like him. So why would... WWE use him as a rival for Roman Reigns and then just randomly get the belt out of nowhere to, just to keep it for a few months lost it to Roman Reigns and now he's gone Roman Reigns has the belt Raw is just kind of chaotic as of this point what happened? Brock Lesnar just was probably just done. If I'm being honest with you, he's probably just like, I pay my dues. I know I've came back, but I've been at it for months. I, mean, I don't think he would be like physically sore, but like maybe it's just too time consuming. I mean, maybe his responsibilities that we don't know about. I don't really, I'm not really one to judge people when they, when they work for WWE and then leave without any excuse and then just come back. Like, they have their own personal life and I respect that. And then this is when people will say, but they made a commitment, blah, blah, blah. Well, maybe the contract just ran out and they didn't want to exactly sign in again. They didn't want to sign the contract again. Maybe. Potentially, I don't know what kind of contracts there are. I don't work for WWE. That would be cool though. Hey yo, I don't think I'm that popular, but hey WWE, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm physical. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we we work. Um, Brock works in great ways, and I do believe that Brock Lesnar. Um, if this is how he ends it, he did have a really good career, and I respect that. He really did, and there's no but. I make it seems like I'm. It makes it seem like I'm gonna say but I'm not. I respect his career, his decisions. That's up to him, man. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, they left WWE in their back. Like what? Of course. Why would you not come back? The fans, like, like the glory, just just wrestling itself is so fun. Why would you not come back? 
I understand why you would stop because it gets too much sometimes. Like, they're humans. Like, they go through mental and physical challenge daily. Some of us don't do that daily, but we do that a lot. And that's a lot to handle. And I know. I know. So, I mean, if you're a wrestler for WWE, you, you really do have my respect. Whether you're a well-known wrestler or whether you're just like a little guy. Like, you really do have my respect. And I do respect you. I do appreciate you. Thank you for entertaining my kid. I Sorry, that sounds wrong. When I was a kid, thank you for entertaining me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. When I was a kid. When I was a kid. Thank you for entertaining me. I'm sorry. That's that's so sweet. I just... <laughs> when I was a kid. Thank you for entertaining me. I really do appreciate it. And everything you do. Thank you. Moving on. RK bro. I love it. I love it. Randy Orton said him himself. He's been at this thing for 20 years. Yeah, 20 years. Um, and he's never had more fun in his entire career. Like He's been having just straight up fun. And I respect that. Good for you, Randy Orton. And as of Matt Riddle, this is his best that he's ever gotten. In NXT, he wasn't really too known. He was just known as the guy who wrestled without shoes. Uh, he still does that. But now he's really known for... Arcade Bro. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is so cool to watch. Just RKO just happening. Um, I remember they kind of teased uh, Matt Riddle and Jeff Hardy. The Hardy Bros. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Um, and then the Bloodline itself, prefer uh, specifically the Usos. When comes Sunday, we're taking you out. I don't know. The Usos, they, they do like, they, they're usually known for having fun. Uh, since they're heel, I don't know. But when they were faces, they definitely had fun with their careers. I remember, <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Um, they, they did all kinds of really fun stuff. They honestly just knew how to have fun and how to have a good time. And just to enjoy the moment. And that's that's something I really like. And they probably still do. But they just don't show it as much. Because they're supposed to be a heel. So as they're heels. They don't do that as much. However. When they were faces. That was really fun to watch. Just every every week. Just seeing the Usos. Just kind of just having fun. Um, That was really fun to see. You know. Just that down since day one. -ish song. You're like. Whew. You know. Like this is fire. That's what some people say. So we've talked about Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, RK Bro, The Bloodline. Um, that's all we'll go for for now because this took a while. Uh, you know my opinions. <laughs> Good for you. Um, just go a little easy on them. They, they go through a lot. and You don't even know. Right? So. Um, you do, they do have my respect though. So. Take that as you will. <laughs> uh, and I'm not really the type of guy that's easy to get respect of. But for you guys, I respect you. I really do. From the bottom of my heart, just thank you for entertaining myself when I was a kid. And still doing that now as I'm older. I really do appreciate that. So, that'll be all for today's video. Yeah. Okay. So... You guys should do me a solid. You should please subscribe. It gets me more money and allows me to do more videos. You should like. You should comment down below. Who do you think is the best wrestler? Like, I'm just I'm genuinely curious. Like, who is the best wrestler? I don't know. I have my thoughts, but to truly test it, you never really know. So go ahead and comment down below who you think the best wrestler is. And... I met some fans, a total of three during the summer, and I think it's really cool. We're gaining places, we're going places. I got fans in my town that I got impressed, and that's really, really cool, and I really enjoy that. So thank you 
for all the fans who watch my videos. Thank you. It was really fun meeting all three of you, taking pictures. That was really fun. And we'll see you guys in the next video. You ready? Bro squad. Oh. We'll see you guys later.